Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss a Google Cloud platform. Here we are having a .NET application sample Hello World. So our things we are going to cover today: creating your Google Cloud platform, and then you set up your own account, and then complete your whole registration process. After that, you can create your Hello World of .NET application. So first thing you need to create your uh, Google Cloud platform to use the Google Cloud uh, services and all. So this is the first screen you need to give our country and then agree statements and all. So you need to choose your account type. If you are a business person, you need to choose a business. If you are individual, you need to choose that individual. For individual, the pan and tax deduction is not mandatory; it's optional. So it is compulsory to add your payment method. That will be your credit card or your debit card. It is for your billing purpose. First, you need to give a. They will give a three hundred dollar credit. It will have a expiry time of twelve uh, months. So once it cross three hundred. Dollar credit, they will ask for your bill, so you need to pay the time through this card details. That's it. So just you start your free trial. It will take some few moments to set up your uh, account, and you can get your dashboard page. So I think you all caught up with these things. So this is our uh, dashboard page. So here you can see what are the things they are providing as services. So now we are going to create an app engine for uh, creating a .NET application. Once you are ready with billing, so you can go. You can, uh, you can continue easily with our application. If you are not complete your billing page, it won't allow to create a app engine. So. So you need to complete your billing to finish the registration process. So once it's done, you can create your .NET application. I will show you a practical demo here. So we are going to use a .NET language. So first, open your browser, and I'm going to console.google. console.cloud.google. So here you can see it was a project. If you have a, if you want to create a project, you can create your projects in this. You just click on Add and just create your uh, project name and all, and then you can create. That's a simple thing. After that, in a dashboard, I'm going to App Engine. Yeah, this is the app engine dashboard. So if you didn't create any app before, it will show like this. Otherwise, it will list the applications whatever you already developed. So we are going to create our first application. I am choosing the .NET language. Here you need to choose your region. It will be any hosting area. It will be US, South America, Asia, something. I am choosing US Central. And then click on next. I think it will check for uh, our billing. We already done with the billing part, so it will pre prepare your app engine. Get ready. It will take some few minutes to complete this services enabling. The
so this is the app engine quick start here you can easily understand what the application the asp.net is how it's creating with google app engine and all just you can learn to edit the yaml file to to using as a configuration file and uh, you need to get some some of the few commands of you have to use in google cloud shell so just you go to continue yeah, i'm choosing my project and clicking on continue this is the interactive uh, session so once you are done with things it will help you to go on next thing so it will showing us open a cloud shell here is this you need to activate the cloud shell so i think this part is done so we can maximize it giving the provision to connect to the cloud it will take some some few seconds so after that uh, you are you need to clone your uh, repository so there is a sample repository they already have given so just you, you need to click on this it will copy the clipper i think our cloud shell is ready so you just press control v to paste the thing yeah it's paste here and click on enter so first we are cloned and then you need to give the git clone command this cloning your uh, remote source to your cloud yeah it's done after that you need to change directly to your project hello world yeah we are enter into the project i think we have completed this one so you need to configure your deployment that means uh, your code part and uh, thing you need to give a startup page using a cat command it will show the oh some other things and then your uh, yaml file i already told you this is the configuration file so it's showing asp net core environment is flex i think i'm going to next one so we are going to restore by testing this one and then we are going to run in in ADAD port so we can preview as in a local host is going to run in your 8080 port yeah application starter you can see a web preview here on your port 8080 after that we need to deploy we have some few deployment steps to complete this process yeah awesome we got the output so 
think this testing app got success so we have or whenever you are testing this you can get the entry here from which uh, which user you are accessing from which host and all so now you can deploy using this release commands just Now I'm releasing this application. Yeah, this one time. Then configuring my files. It will take some few minutes to complete this process. Click yes. I think uh, the layers are getting created. take almost 10 to 10 minutes to set up your application so now it's updating the service everything is moved to our app engine in few minutes it will get ready now you got your uh, application is ready so you have successfully deployed your application then this is your uh, applications URL this is a project name and will append with hotspot yeah it's it's working fine so you can check from your mobile and from anywhere it will be in live so your application is ready your first dot net application so I think you can done with our session thanks for watching our video